Well, hi, Lapians. One second, let me turn this light on. Um, good morning, Lapians. This is not going to be um, look at this. This is not going to be a normal vlog. Um, this is actually going to be part of the Civil War reenactment videos, 1860 style. Um, and that's what I think I'm going to name the next few series. It's 1860 style. Now, what I'm going to show you right now is a simple, simple hairdo to do for reenactment. Um, as you can see, I just parted my hair down the middle. And uh, I'm not going to show you how to do this because it's very simple. You just take a comb. I put mine just a little off center. Pull it back. And then down the sides. That simple. And then um, I have my hair in pigtails, if you can see, but just just low pigtails. And this is really where the foundation for your hair is going to start, um, like pigtails. Probably I'm not gonna low to the scalp pigtails. Um, my hair actually got butchered. It's two different lengths. Sorry, it's it's two different lengths. So, um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna braid these. Just a simple, simple braid all the way as far as down as you can. Okay. So I'll get back when I get that done. Well, as you can see, I just simply braided, and with this one, I sprayed it really heavy with hairspray. And I'm gonna tell you why. Um, because I have two different layers in my hair because I got butchered um, the hair likes to come out of the braids like uh, if I can get this right here um, so to keep that from happening at reenactment I will spray it very heavily and when I mean heavily I mean soak it um, but I try and get get the ponytail as tight as I can to my head because it does pull out some um, and you want a very good foundation for your hairdo um, so I'll show you what I do next so as y'all can see in the mirror I just took this braid and flipped it over this one um, I pinned it very well around the base of that ponytail and I'm just going to take it the rest of the braid like this and pin it up like that I'm going to be pinning it by the ponytail into that braid and this is why I say you need a very good foundation because if it's very loose this will not hold and you would have to redo it so as you can see in the mirror I have all I've done is pinned around and pin that up now the thing I'm going to do with this end is pin it under that first braid and, I'm, and as you this is why I also say, as you can tell, I had flyaways. Um, this is why I say, um, you know, hairspray it good and hairspray spray it very damp. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pin that right there. Um, right there. That's where I'm going to start pinning. So we're about to move on to the next step. And I want you to reach back here and take this spray and pull it towards the other side. Don't pin it yet because we're going to readjust any pins that are poking in your head. Um, like there's a pin, I have a pin heel poking and I'm going to readjust that. I'm going to readjust this and tighten it up and try and make sure there's no bobby pins popping out from atop the braid. Like that one right there and that one right there. Um, so go ahead, do it again. Make sure there's nothing poking you. Like there is again. One second, I have to put the camera. Okay, now we're going to try a third time. Make sure there's nothing poking and there's not. So what we're going to go ahead and do is pull this up and around. And tuck that again into that little crevice we created. And you're basically done. Um, if you have longer hair, you can keep going around and around. 
um, you know, it might be long enough that you come through on this side and you can go around. Um, or, you know, to, you can play with it, work with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pin this and then I'm going to continue talking to you about some other things you can do. So I'll be right back. Now normally I would go ahead and spray this really heavy and put my hair net on. Um, but since I'm just showing y'all how to do it, uh, that is basically done. You know, make sure there's no things poking out. Try and hide all the bobby pins and the hair ribbons you can. Um, my hair normally comes, sorry, normally comes to about right here on me. Um, so, see like that part right there that's sticking out. Um, that's because I didn't spray that one braid. Um, but the longer your hair, I think the prettier this would be because you see all those, the loops and, you know, everything from the braids. And I guess the more braids you have, the longer the braids you have, the prettier it would be. Um, but that is the first video of the 1860 style installment. So I guess I'm going to cut it off here. Come back and watch our vlogs and see what we're going to be doing. Um, you know, watch the Perry Bill reenactment videos. Um, and we are actually not there yet. Um, I'm recording this in advance, but, um, watch those, and I'll see y'all guys later. Good night, ruffians. Oh, like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, take a hit and hit that subscription button down below, and come back for our vlogs. Well, good night, ruffians. We love ya. See you in the morning.